hello guys and welcome to another video so today i'm going to try and install void linux on kvm virtual machine this is my fifth attempt the previous four attempts have failed the problem seems to be installing grub and so let's see if these final attempts will work so to begin with let's open the terminal and then to launch the installer type sudo void installer enter and then this is the installer press enter now step one select keyboard layout this one is super easy we select the us keyboard just scroll to the bottom until you find us ah, right here us is here enter let's go to step two set up network unfortunately i don't have internet connection so i'll skip this one but if you have it you can test your network then we go to step 3 select source of your installation now I already have an ISO so I'll pick local the first option and enter then step 4 select XBPS mirror again this one you need internet connection and since I do not have it I'm going to skip this one if you have it make sure to select it and um, then select the option for a global or default whichever you prefer now i go to step five i set up host name and this one i'm going to set to lx realm okay and then next is set system local uh, this one i like to set it to us english us right here is english us right enter okay let's continue the train has passed now the next step is to set system time zone for this one we set based on your location i am going to go with africa and then scroll all the way to n and my location is nairobi and that's it then set root password at this one set make sure your password is strong uh, i'll set mine then confirm it next set primary username and password these are the credentials you will use to log in so i'm going to set mine to alex and then for the user then password and confirm your password all right now select group membership for login now here you're supposed to select root but i cannot see root anywhere here so i'm going to select wheel wheel is number four the next step is to set disk to install bootloader and for this one you only have one disk i select it it's asking for graphical terminal for the bootloader yes then partitioning disks let's proceed select your disk there and then go to cf disk select ok now for the label let's take gpt and then let's create our partition we need like three partitions uh, let's start with the first one and make sure new is selected here and enter now the size we want 512 m for mbs enter use the right arrow button to go to type and then enter now for this one uh, in all the other failed attempts i've been using efi system so i'm going to try bios and see what happens all right create the second partition make sure it's selected and this one we want to make it to 10 gb it's a root partition enter now uh, the type is a linux file system so let's leave it the way it is and then let's create the final partition the full size enter it's linux file system it's okay now use the arrow keys to move all the way to the right and select write to ask if you want to write the partitions to your disk type yes 
and that one is done use the arrow to move to quit and enter let's proceed now to configure the mount mount point and configure file system so press enter first partition which is the boot partition and select it select fat32 okay and then mount point will type slash boot slash efi enter and yes now select the second partition you want this one to be ext4 mount point yes slash it's for the root partition and then okay and yes then for the third partition select it make sure it's ext4 a mounting point forward slash home and enter yes now we are done there use the arrow keys to move to done and enter now that one is done let's proceed now to the installation i press enter do you want to continue yes and now we cross our fingers and wait the installation is going to take a while so let's keep to the end and find out if the installation is successful or not there you have it it's been installed this is where the rest of the installation processes were failing uh seems this one has gone through successfully void linux is installed now let's reboot and see what happens now now it seems there's an error over here it's returning an error about our second partition and that partition i don't think there's anything we need to do oh, wait let's check cf disk and here are our partitions quit let's just clear this since it's returning an error i'll just type exit there's still the same error i'll type exit again we are in okay so this is the login page uh, i'm going to input my password and there we have it our system is ready to go so that's it guys uh thank you guys for watching give this video a like uh subscribe to the channel and see you on the next one